got to do here now do events going on in our mouth can those events influence what goes on in our arteries can those events clog up our arteries and if you take care of those events by treating them can you reverse the clogging in the arteries we're going to be looking at that through the lens of a study that was published in European Heart Journal. This study was published recently. Now, the findings are quite interesting and there was one salient disappointment in this very study that uh, I will share with you guys as well. So, before we jump right in, how about a quick plug of my award-winning book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach this is the second edition of this very book links to get a book right below this very video so study was published in european heart journal and it's about periodontitis that is to say inflammation of the gums okay inflammation of the gums where you know your teeth will become wobbly you also lose a tooth and that can also give you bad breath now if you take care of this is it possible for the thickness of your arteries for the clogging of your arteries to improve because the suggestion is that events going on in our mouth can also clog up our arteries and potentially that can lead to strokes and heart attacks okay so um how about we dive straight in into the details of the study Let, first of all let's look at how the study was planned so here we go they took 135 people, they split them up into two groups, okay, two groups. One group was the treatment group, and the other group, the controls. I like that. And guess what? The study participants were randomized, okay, so randomized into treatment group and the control group. So what else did they do? Well, in one group, they gave them what you would describe as intensive oral treatment okay intensive dental treatment so what they did was they did this is the treatment group okay the treatment group they did scaling for them they did root planning they cleaned below the gum line okay below the gum line and then they removed plaque and tartar quite intensive treatment okay so that was for the treatment group what about the control group what did they do for them well all they did was scaling and polishing which is just superficial uh, oral care that's what they did so what does the the researchers do well they also measured the thickness of this artery because this artery is easily accessible we call it the carotid artery that's the artery that supplies blood to your brain okay it's easily accessible it's right here uh, in our neck so they measured the thickness of the inner two layers, what we call the intima and the media, the inner two layers of the carotid artery is easily done with ultrasound uh, in skilled hands and the results are quite reliable. So they measure the thickness at baseline, I forgot to include baseline here, okay? They measure the thickness of this artery at baseline, then at one year and then at two years as well, okay? Very nice because they wanted to monitor the progress of the clogging in the arteries so they did that what else did they do they also measured vessel elasticity uh, this is Lehman's term uh, so we actually call it flow mediated dilatation and, and uh, they essentially is to measure how elastic they tend to use the brachial artery here this is the artery that supplies you know your forearm and your hand it is easily measured with ultrasound and then what else did they do they also measured uh, blood pressure as well as the inflammatory markers in the study participants okay very nice uh, study really 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 well detailed study so that's the planning and the execution so what were their findings let's have a look at their findings so here we go the um, essential thing they found was that well the clogging Okay, the clogging, which is this artery here, like I told you, they measured the thickness of the inner two layers of the artery. What they found was that in the treatment group, okay, in the treatment group, the clogging was substantially down. 
okay? Substantially down compared to the controls. Very interesting, okay? So you treat what's going on in the mouth, you treat the inflammation that is going on in the mouth, and that also reverses the clogging that is going on in the arteries. How cool is that, okay? Really nice. So what else did they find? Well, they also found the, the, the vessel elasticity, this same vessel here that I talked about, the flow-mediated uh, dilatation. They found that in the treatment group, there was improvement of the vessel elasticity at two months, just within two months of intensive treatment, the vessel elasticity improved. So the vessel was more pliable. Interesting, okay? And guess what? This elasticity remained so until the study was over after two years because they followed them up for two years, okay? So elasticity improved and that improvement was sustained over the two-year period that they followed up the study participants. Very nice, okay? I love that. What else? Well, inflammatory markers were down in the intensive treatment group. Yeah, okay? Because they treated what's going on in the mouth, all of the inflammation was taken care of. So it's not quite um, unexpected that inflammatory markers will improve because you remove the source of inflammation. Make sense? So what else? And here is the disappointing bit there was no improvement in blood pressure. I was a bit disappointed with that. Um, but there we go. You cannot win it all. You really cannot win it all. So um, it is clear that inflammation that is going on in our mouth can lead to clogging of our arteries. And of course, if you treat that inflammation intensively, you will reverse the clogging. That is very, very important. Okay, it's an important finding. And what this is telling us is that untreated periodontitis, which is, is essentially what we're talking about here, periodontitis is the inflammation of the gums. Uh, and like I said in the beginning of this presentation, that leads to, uh, you know, wobbly teeth, tooth loss, and of course, bad breath. If you take care of that, if you treat that intensively, um, then everything improves in the arteries, okay? The arterial function improves. So what this is telling us is that untreated periodontitis is a modifiable risk factor for vascular aging and cardiovascular disease. How about that? It is modifiable, okay? So if you have issues going on in your mouth, please go see a dentist and request intensive treatment. And then, of course, when you do that, you're going to reverse clogging that is going on in your arteries. First of all, you're going to prevent uh, further clogging and you're going to reverse any clogging that is already there. So, very interesting study and I'm hoping that you found this presentation useful. If you did, if you got some value from it, give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. Any questions, any comments, leave them down below. That's it for this very video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.